Hey everyone, in Fusion 360, there's the sketch fillet command, which can help you round corners quickly. Let's look at it. When you're sketching in Fusion 360, you have the ability to quickly add rounded corners. And there's important reasons why you would do this from a design perspective. So to do this, it's not under create, but over under modify. You'll click fillet or fillet. Sometimes you'll hear people say it that way. And the way that you can add this fillet is you select the two lines and this arrow will wake up. This is a slider or uh, and a toggle that you can adjust the radius just by dragging. You can also type in the value for that fillet. If you continue to click, it will let you add these rounded corners to your design. And why this is important from an engineering perspective, when you extrude this, you're going to have less stress concentrations in these rounded corners. So this does apply to 3D printing and machining where it's important to add these rounded faces. Now, when you're adding fillets, there's a few things to be aware of. You'll first need to be in a sketch. So I can come down to my toolbar below and do right click on the sketch and edit sketch. This will take us back into our sketch or you can be, start a brand new sketch. So we'll go to create sketch and select this face. So to add the fillet to this sketch, some options here, instead of selecting the two lines, I'm gonna select the endpoints and it's dragging them, them in. I'm gonna type in 12. These are now both set to 12 millimeters. If I double click and change this to 14, hit enter, they're both going to update. Now, if you'd like for it to add more fillets, they are going to be separate from the ones above. So if I add these two below, they are tied to this value. So instead I could make this eight. And so this is great if you want them to be different values, different dimensions. If I sort of messed up, I could add these fillets and I can always delete the dimension and then simply select the fillet that has a dimension and just choose equal in the constraints. So now this will be tied to that and we can make this 16. So let's talk about just a few more examples where the sketch fillet can be especially helpful, including one that I didn't even know was possible till a few seconds ago. So one, when you have intersecting lines, you actually can just select them and it'll trim and automatically fill at them, which is kind of a cool time saver. Hit enter. Next, when you have arcs and circles on top of one another, you can fill it these. So choose fill it, choose the two arcs and you'll get this transition. Next, this one is new to me parallel lines. I didn't know that Fusion could solve this for you with a sketch fillet. So I've got parallel lines. I even have the endpoints lined up. And this one's a shout out to Kevin Kennedy at Product Design Online. Uh, this is kind of a cool one. Check this out. So you hit fillet and you select the two lines and it'll actually solve and create an arc between them. Pretty cool. Now you don't actually have to have them line up or be even with each other, it still will solve for you if you saw if you just click. So it's a kind of a fast way to create uh, a slot. And the last tip for the sketch fillet, kind of a pro tip, is if you are in a 3D sketch where you're doing lines in 3D space, this can be very helpful to do a fillet here at this level. Simply select the lines and it will create that 3D transition for you with the radius value attached, just like when you're in a 2D sketch. So one big question comes up, how do I add this fillet to this edge? This is the solid model. This, you cannot use sketch tools on a solid model like a fillet. You'd have to use the feature fillet. So if you come to modify on the feature toolbar and choose the fillet command or F for the shortcut, this will allow you to add a rounded edge to the solid model. This is my preference and I like to use this feature whenever I can. I prefer it over the sketch, but there are some exceptions. When you're working with more complex models like lofts and sweeps, 
where you have these profiles that are solving into each other. I have a rectangle that's effectively solving into a series of rectangles. This is a loft. It's solving from one profile to the next and creating this continuous geometry. So what I want to do is go up to fill it and it can be tricky to get this to work well with your model. And so this is where sometimes if you come back and were to add these fillets to your sketches, so let's drop some in real quick. Great. And we'll hit enter and finish the sketch. It starts to solve. And let's do the second one just so we can see what that looks like. Finish the sketch. So now you see it resolving with these rounded edges naturally solving and hitting the radius that I want for this loft. Same goes for some sweeps where doing the fillet at the sketch level can be incredibly helpful. But I will also say that if you're in a sketch and the design just makes more sense to you, if you were to add the fillets to the sketch level, if this just feels easier or it makes more sense or it makes sense to edit in the future, go for it. Definitely follow your gut when it comes to this design intent and what makes sense to you. You can always you know, adjust your strategies as you get more experience with Fusion 360. And this is definitely one of those tools to be aware of. At the sketching level, you can add fillets to round edges quickly. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll keep covering all of our features in Fusion 360. I'll see you in the next video.